Here's six secret passages and hidden areas you may have missed in Hogwarts Legacy, sponsored by Warner Brothers. Starting out with a secret passage only some of you can enter. Because have you ever wondered what happens if you try and sneak into the Hufflepuff common room when you're not a Hufflepuff? Well, unlike all of the other common rooms in the game, the Hufflepuff common room, for some reason, has a hidden trap that attacks students trying to sneak in. Traditionally, real Hufflepuff students can enter their common room by tapping the oak barrels in the correct places and in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. But as a security deterrent to repel non-Hufflepuffs, who are likely to fail the combination, the door will instead drench the interloper in vinegar. As hilarious as it is to watch Harry Potter getting drenched in vinegar, I can't help but think that blinding people like this for trying to get into a common room is a little bit harsh. Maybe even a bit dangerous. By comparison, none of the other common rooms have this crazy trap system that stops trespassers. Now if you're in Hufflepuff, during the cutscene you'll know that Professor Weasley was even even fearful of failing the password in case she got soaked in vinegar. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. But don't worry, here's some secret passages that you actually can get inside. With the second one, ironically, being an inaccessible door. If you're wandering Hogwarts Castle, you might come across this door. It has no staircase leading to it, and it doesn't look like there's any ladders or way to access it. In fact, you'd be forgiven for thinking that it wasn't even a door at all. So to get to this location, you're going to want to come across the Hogwarts South exit, across the wooden bridge, through the courtyard, and then to the clock tower courtyard. You can see that's the fast travel point on the left. We're gonna come through this door and run straight across to the other side. And then we're going to turn right after this. And then we're going to go up these stairs. There's actually tons of musician portraits just here. Run straight to the top of the stairs. If you turn around, you'll see there's actually a door just there, but there's no way to access it. Come to the top of the stairs, however, and you'll find this frog. You can actually enter the frog and it teleports you into this room. Lumos. There's actually tons of leftover ones in this room. And you can also find a treasure chest just here with a unique wand handle. And then to get out of this room, just drop back down this door. Thirdly, we have the super secret tapestry gallery, which I actually found by accident because I thought I was just running into a wall while not paying attention. To find this secret for yourself, you're going to want to come to the main entrance of Hogwarts Castle, just outside here on the map where I'm standing. From the fountain here, turn around and run back inside the castle. Then we're going to take a right and we're going to go through this door underneath here. Oh, then we're going to run downstairs and take a right through this door. And now you'll see this portrait in front of you. Now even Revelio. if you use Revelio, there's nothing weird about this portrait, so most of the time I was actually completely ignoring it and just carrying on down the stairs. But what you'll find is if you walk towards the K, it's actually a door, but it's it's completely invisible, like you cannot see it at all, but it opens seamlessly. So this is actually a secret area that is very easy to miss, and if you go through the next door, you'll find another room. Now, one of the cool things about this room is there's a werewolf here, and this werewolf is exactly like the Animagus version that Professor Lupin turns into. Revelio. If you use Revelio on it, there's still no information near it, but you'll obviously recognize it from the Prisoner of Azkaban if you've seen the movie. Now, there's actually a chest just over here in the corner that you can pick up. And then you'll see another K just over here in the corner. You can't actually go through this one. But if you use Revelio, we've actually found the Werewolf Saga Tapestries. This set of tapestries tells the tragic tale of a witch bitten by a werewolf. She chose to flee from her home to protect her infant daughter and husband. Rumor has it that her daughter fell asleep to the howl of a werewolf for years thereafter. You can see her and her daughter and obviously the full moon just there. And then all the men going out hunting in the forest for the werewolf. Looks like they caught a deer over here. And then they actually find the werewolf. A husband and men are killing the beast in the woodland. Then we have the happy ending just here. There's also some interesting sketches and this armor set from Skyrim. Next at number four, we have the secret area hidden on top of the castle that you'll spot when you're flying around. But especially if you're flying around the castle, you'll notice that there's no doors leading onto this balcony area. So how are you meant to access the two chests on top? 
because the game won't let you land up here while you're flying on your broom. To get here for yourself, you're going to want to come back to the entrance to Hogwarts at the Bell Tower Courtyard. From the water fountain, we're going to turn around and go inside, and then we're going to go to the right and up the stairs here, this time to the left. Head all the way up to the top of the staircase. Once you reach the top, you'll come to this classroom on the right-hand side. If you run across the classroom and then go upstairs again, you'll find an unlockable treasure chest, but that's not the secret. If we come up the staircase again, all the way to the top, we'll finally come out on this balcony. Here you can find the first treasure chest. Unidentified legendary item. Then you can come over here to this frog, and if you go inside it, it'll actually spit you out on the other side of the balcony. Here you can find another treasure chest. Carry on going round, and there's another one. That's how you get this awesome looking marble red wand handle. Come back across and you'll find another chest just here. Next at number 5 we have the Hogwarts Kitchens, which you probably already know how to access if you've read the Harry Potter novel, since it's mentioned there that Fred and George tell Hermione how to access the kitchen, but they're apparently the only students that know about this secret. The Hogwarts Kitchens themselves are located directly under the Great Hall. That food doesn't magically appear on the tables, you know. If you come here on the map of Hogwarts to so the Grand Staircase and then you click on this flag, come all the way to the bottom to the Grand Staircase Flu Powder location. Once here, turn around and go down this staircase to the Hufflepuff Common Room. Doesn't matter if you're not in Hufflepuff, you can still do this. Just go all the way to the bottom and right here you'll find a secret chest. And then there's a portrait. This is actually a secret entrance to the kitchen. Revelio. If you use Revelio, if one tickles the pear in this still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the Hogwarts kitchens, which is also a reference from the books. And there's the laughing pear. Let's hold it down. And then it actually turns into a doorknob as well. And here we are in the Hogwarts kitchens. Oh, that's disgusting. Rah, that is not healthy. Surely not. You'll notice that all the house tables are laid out down here, and that's how they get them to magically appear on the tables in the great hall above. Right in the center, there's another bit of information. Kitchen tables. When Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables, it magically gets transferred to the tables in the great hall directly above. Okay, I just explained that, but there you go. There's the actual written door. Oh my goodness. What do you want? Ch chasing him with a cleaver. Get some sneaky sweet roll snacks. Here's a welcome treat. Oh look, he's doing all the washing of these dishes. Blimey, look at him go. I like how they actually move around to do different chores with the meat in the kitchen. That's pretty cool. Also another field Rebellion. guide page. House elf living quarters. Ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village-like home for themselves among the barrels in the Hogwarts kitchen. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside, as house elves have an extraordinary magic of their own. So this is the house elves living quarters. Just stacked barrels of whatever would be inside on top of each other. I'm sure they're bigger on the inside than the outside though. Wonder where the little door leads. There's a lot of moldy food around here. And finally we have number six. Now if you're the kind of player who runs around Hogwarts casting Revelio repeatedly, then you've probably already found this next hidden passageway. But if not, you've probably run past it a few times now. We're standing just here in the library annex, not too far from the greenhouse. It's the great hall with the relief of the giant dragon. Once you arrive here, you're going to want to head towards the greenhouse, which is obviously this massive door. Now the spell Revelio can also be used to find secrets behind walls, like for example there's a chest behind this owl, and you can interact with this owl and find a secret passageway. <laughs> it's covered in cobwebs, no one's searched this chest for ages, but we got a dark abolitionist act from it. It's a pretty cool secret room that you've probably run through a few times in Hogwarts already. It doesn't really serve a purpose beyond that though. Now this was actually only the first six secret passages and hidden areas that I wanted to show off in Hogwarts, but there are so many more than this that I want to share with you guys. So I'll be linking the next video over here and in the description for you guys to check out all of the other secret areas.